Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to install Jenkins onto a Windows 2016 server and invoke a PowerShell script. The first step is to install the MSI, which I've downloaded from the Jenkins website. So Jenkins is open source, so you can download it for free. It has great community support and also there's many plugins you can use with Jenkins. So let's get started. As we install the MSI, we'll just take the defaults. When the installer is actually finished, Internet Explorer will be started and we can start the first piece of configuration to get Jenkins up and running. It's fairly straightforward. So the first step, we need to unlock Jenkins. So we'll just copy that password. It's stored in a text file. So now we're prompted, do we want to install suggested plugins or select the plugins we're going to install? We'll go for the suggested plugins. These are the, the default settings for Jenkins. So you'll see from the list of plugins that are actually being deployed, we have the likes of Pipeline, which can be used with PowerShell. We have Git and Subversion, so you can call files in from uh, repositories that you have. So now we're prompted to create the first admin user, so we'll call our user admin. So now we have to configure the instance. We'll just stick with localhost at the moment. Uh, if this was a production deployment, you'd be probably looking to use a, a fully qualified domain name. So as you'll see, it's quite simple to set up. Now we can start using Jenkins. So at the moment, the PowerShell plugin isn't actually enabled. So let's go and do that. So we'll select Manage Plugins. And if we select Available, and you'll see down the list, we have the PowerShell plugin. So we'll just click Install without restart. Uh, that's been successful. So we'll go back up to the top of the page. Now let's go and create a job. So we'll just select a freestyle project. You can orchestrate pipeline jobs, external jobs, multi-configuration projects as well. For purposes of this demonstration, we'll just choose a freestyle project. So we'll give it a description and then the bit we're interested in at the moment is the actual build. So we're going to click on add build step. And there you'll see we've got an option for Windows PowerShell. So this is a very simple two-liner. We're just going to write the output of the host name and we're going to create a folder called test. So we've saved our project now. So let's just click on build now. And we can click on the build history to see if that's run correctly. And then choose console output. And there you'll see the first line, the host name of this machine is nr-2016. And then you'll see it's created that folder called test. Let's have a quick look just to make sure it has actually done that. And there we can see the folder test created. So thank you for watching this video on how to install Jenkins and configure it for use with PowerShell.